Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll discuss the GST implication when any proprietor dies. What happens if any proprietor dies? Definitely his business will cease to exist. And usually in GST law, if any business cease to exist, then it's the duty, it's the liability of the taxpayer to pay GST on the stock held as on the date of cessation of business. But just then business band hua, us din jo bhi stock hai, uske upar kya pay karna hoga? Taxes pay karne honge. Apart from that, if there are any capital goods on which ITC was availed and five years has not elapsed till now, then also the taxpayer have to pay ITC proportionately on the basis of how many years has elapsed and how many years is pending considering the total span of five years. Accordingly, we have to make some reversal. But what will happen when proprietor dies? The business to band ho gaya. So, ab iska implication kya hoga? That we'll discuss. Look. What will happen if proprietor dies? A legal heir will be appointed. Now, the legal heir will take over the business. But as per the GST law, legal heir can't be added as an authorized signatory through portal because proprietor has already died. There is no registered person as of as of, as on that date on records. So what legal heir have to do? He have to apply to the jurisdictional officer with proper proof that proprietor is no more. So he want to take over the business for doing the necessary compliances so that in 30 days he can do all the compliances and then he can uh, cancel or then he can apply for the cancellation of registration. Okay. So now the legal heir will have two options. Either he can discontinue the business and wind up and second he can continue the business. So in case he discontinue the business, then definitely whatever is the stock he can dispose of. And if there is any stock pending as on the date of cancellation, then he have to pay taxes on that. Uske upar use kya karna hoga? Taxes pay karna hoga. Apart from that, agar koi capital goods hai, to uske upar bhi if applicable ITC reverse karna hoga. All this he have to do. He have to pay taxes and then he can apply for the cancellation. And finally, he will submit one final return in GSTR 10. But if you want to continue the business, if you want to continue the business, then obviously you can't continue the business in the name of the proprietor. Definitely a new entity has to be formed in which this business will be transferred as a going concern. So in that case, what legal heir will do, he'll transfer the business, whole business as a going concern with all assets and liabilities in the new firm. Wo new firm may transfer kar dega pura business. And in this case, there is a specific notification exemption notification of services in which it is very clearly mentioned that if any business is transferred as a going concern, then it will be exempted. So, when all the assets or liabilities dusre business will transfer, ho jayegi, definitely there will be no GST implication. Apart from that, if there is any balance in the ITC ledger also, that can also be transferred to the new business. So, in this scenario, there will be no GST liability on legal heir in the old proprietorship firm, which will now cease to exist. So for, so for doing all these formalities, the legal heir will have 30 days. In these 30 days, he have to decide whether he want to continue the business or he want to discontinue the business. If he want to discontinue the business, definitely he have to pay all taxes. But he want, if he want to continue the business, he can't continue in the name of the same proprietor. He have to form a different entity in which he'll transfer all the assets and liabilities. And in that case, he don't need to pay any GST on this. So this is the whole concept when proprietor dies. So tax dena bhi par sakta, nahi bhi dena par sakta, depending on the fact whether you want to continue the business. I mean, legal heir want to continue the business or he want to discontinue the business. Okay. Thank you so much.